So I assume that a lot of these cards are basically the MetaZoo Holy Grails. Uh, they seem to be one of ones refractors, super refractors, like in terms of sports cards. You know, a one of one is quite rare. Uh, without like knowing too much about MetaZoo, it seems like the Kickstarter version or the sample, the red ink, it seems like a lot of this stuff um, is coming to auction. So people are stopped. They're, they're not hoarding it. Uh, what I think is happening is the investors have given up. The Timmies have decided, you know, enough is enough. I've lost everything. Uh, I might as well recruit as many as I can get. So sample cards, BGS cards, graded cards. And they're flooding the market as we speak. And I think this is mainly due to the fact that people who normally would hold on to it. So you got to take this with a grain of salt, right? Maybe the people who owned these valuable pieces and are and they're all selling within a very, very short time frame. So between the announcement of MetaZoo for Mike dying till now, there have been many what you would call grails, right? Many, many grails hitting the market. PSA 10, Red Inks, First Edition, and so on. That's pretty interesting. I think there is concern that these that you know a one on one there might be another one on one in uh, Mike's safe somewhere. That's what's having people sell because it's kind of like you, if you pay ten thousand dollars for something, and now that something's worth one thousand dollars, why would you sell it? Wouldn't the logic move be to go ahead and keep it and see what happens? I mean, you've already spent so much money. Uh, why not go ahead and just kind of go to the conclusion and see if uh, eventually maybe a small probability of getting your money back. But people are selling, which tells me that these individuals are investors. These are investors and they want to get out of this product ASAP and that's exactly what they are attempting to do. And that's going to open up, so not only... Are you talking about like the supply not being an issue anymore, right? People are not diamond handsing native. I have a very interesting video about native um, alpha investment just two months ago was pumping up native as a hundred plus dollar set being amazing, but it didn't have any liquidity. And the problem with that is once something gets liquidity, uh, native as we will find right now is basically worth almost nothing. So, uh, when we talk uh, long term and we talk about uh, essentially what's happening with MetaZoo, if you truly love, you're not an investor of MetaZoo, okay? You're not a investor of MetaZoo. You're just a collector. You're someone who enjoys, you know, collecting things and so on. Then it makes more sense actually to be in, in buying stuff right now. Then at the height, um, I think at the height of the you know eighty two hundred dollars a box, that's what Alpha Investments was selling. The Nightfall for like, why would you pay eighty or eighty two hundred dollars for five boxes when you can get five boxes or you can get a case or you can get anything for almost not like it is quite strange in my opinion. Um, that these same people are happy paying eighty-two thousand dollars for something, but now they don't want to. Now they're selling things at a massive, massive loss. So who really knows what is going on? So I'm I'm kind of confused, right? If you love this game, you have uh, belief that this game is going to go to the moon. Now is the time to buy, guys. You you don't want to be buying at the the uh, height of the Crazy! You want to be buying now if you if you truly believe the game. Like all the people, um, when I used to make MetaZoo videos, there used to be dozens, if not hundreds, of people who would, if you said anything negative about MetaZoo, they would come out and bash your channel and protect the Rudy Chan and and all of that. Um, now they don't do that. They uh, don't do that at all. Uh, where are those people? They, are they the ones selling their grails? Like, shouldn't it, like, 
if you truly believe in something and that something is $8,200 and now that $8,200 thing is, can be purchased for $100, well, I mean, that's a great deal, right? Um, at least in my opinion, right? I mean, let's say Magic the Gathering dies and Black Lotuses are $100. I, I mean, I'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah, I can pick up a bunch of them now. Like, uh, or you have probably what is more likely that these individuals may not actually have loved the game. Maybe they actually simply wanted to make money from it. And the, the opportunity to make money is no longer here. And that's why they have decided to just uh, yeet their way out. I mean, that could be another thing, right? I mean, definitely something that could ha have happened. But uh, overall, I mean, it, it's kind of strange. Like, where are all these people who love the game? Who protect the game? Who said the game was an investment? Wouldn't... If you believe the game was an investment and you were willing to pay $8,200 to be part of this opportunity, why wouldn't you pay $80, right? $80 to be part of this right now. Um, I don't actually know. So I think... Um, it is quite interesting, in my opinion. Um, I, I don't understand. Uh, like, look, if I played Fire Emblem Heroes, or Fire Emblem Cypher, the game died, and there was an opportunity to buy 10 of every waifu I could get for 99% off, you can be sure I'm going to... I'm going to go ahead and jump on that. I'm going to go ahead and jump on that. So, I think it's interesting because why would... Uh, or maybe they don't have the real interest. They were only interested in, they didn't like cryptids. They weren't, I mean, shouldn't these people be celebrating? Not that the game is dead, of course, right? But that there's a true opportunity here to go ahead and maximize your collection. Like, I collect free dead card games. I'm just like real shocked at the, of the response. Because that's not the response I would have had for Fire Emblem Cypher. Inu Inuyasha I knew was dying. So I picked up as much of it as I could. For like 10 cents, 15 cents a booster pack. And just had a blast opening it. Like where are those people? Like where are they? 